and for people who put money in film and television projects trying to evaluate business plans. Do you make a business plan that's predicated on an economic recovery? Is it the economy that changes? Is there a digitization change? Are we going to a place where content is simply content? The key chess digital ecosystem model where you buy content, you buy a movie and you get it in whatever medium you want it in. That's uh, the Disney has got the key chest. You want to buy a DVD, you buy the movie, you can get a DVD, you can see it on a mobile device, you can see it on your computer screen, you can see it wherever you want. You bought the content. Ever wonder about cable and satellite television, why it's linked to your house? Well, that's kind of the way we, we, we do things. Even if there's nobody in your house because you've gone away for a month on vacation, you forgot to disconnect for the month, consuming cable television is site house specific. I'm buying the content. I'm not buying your damn wires. And we're going to start seeing migration, people buying content services and paying for the access on wires and wireless to deliver that content wherever they are on Earth. Remember cell phones from 1983? Oh, I forgot you guys are too young. When cell phones started becoming ubiquitously placed into the ether, I call them walkie-talkies. They were big. People got their phone bills. If someone called you by mistake, you paid. If you dropped a call and redialed, you paid. You paid, you paid, you paid, you paid for every minute. Unless you had someone else covering your phone bill, there were odds are you threw the phone bill, the, the phone bill and the phone out because it was too expensive. And the phone companies kind of got that. Today, people buy minutes, they buy all you can eat plans, but they really want to know what they're paying at the end of the month, at the beginning of the month. The Netflix model works. They don't mind little charges on their cell phones. We'll see if that sustains as the charges get bigger and bigger and bigger on mobile platforms. That could wind up being in the same place. You start looking at this battle between unions that want residuals, studios that want pay per use. You look at people. iTunes is a big success for Apple. 12% of all purchased music comes through iTunes. And iTunes is very successful for Apple because it sells iPods. Doesn't make a lot of money for the music companies. So you start looking at what is it that people want. They want subscription services. Some advertiser content can be supported. But the model they like the least is pay per use. And the model Hollywood wants to impose on consumers the most is pay per use. Our copyright laws basically say you have to get permission from, think about clearing music today. Think about it. You know, streaming, downloading, synchronization performance, publishing, multiple songs, multiple coverage, oh my god. So copyright law says you have to ask everybody for consent with a few exceptions like mechanicals and songs, et cetera. There are some royalties and some radio stations out there with broadcast. We have perform, pay for performance. Everybody wants money. Consumers don't want to pay money. We're in a bad economy. Copyright law says you have to ask everybody's permission. Let's say you want to have a site where anybody can go and get any content, and you share the revenue with whoever the content provider is uh, on some revenue share basis. But unless you get the permission of every content piece of content owner, you can't do it. Our copyright laws say you can't do mashups. They really do. Apparently, our copyright uh, officials have never had teenage children. Apparently, they believe they can tell teenage children what to do, and they will do it. Nobody mashes up. I mean, it's so open, there's no way to do it. I mean, what Sony finally gave up and said to YouTube, OK, they used my Sony song, OK. Just link them to my site, and maybe they'll buy the song. Remember the wedding, da wedding dancer thing that went? They sold a lot of those. All right, I got to sort of wind down here. Hard, hard to even imagine me winding down, huh? So we're looking at places, new experiments, Hulu. You know, and then, of course, the television program uh, cable network said, 
I don't want that program on Hulu. I have exclusive television rights. Look at the windows. Look at the contracts. Look at the legacy structures and the difficulties they are going to have in trying to give everything to everybody the way they want it. Okay. If you're thinking outside of the box, it says here, you lose. There's no box. Thank you.